Parkland Hospital was established in 1894. In 1963, President John F. Kennedy was rushed to what would eventually become the first Level 1 trauma center in Texas. As the years wore on and demand increased, the Parkland facility eventually exceeded its capacity. We were too crowded. Uh, we were having to do many workarounds in the old building. We got every bit of juice out of that building we could possibly get for it, but the, the growth in the population's demand was just incredible. Last year alone, we increased ambulatory visits by 200,000. I've been at Parkland for 22 years, and so I've experienced a lot of the challenges that it takes for a nurse to actually work in the space. With a clear need for a new facility, the Dallas community then passed a bond election in 2008 to approve funding for the project. I have all these ideas that I've always wanted to do in a project, and we're starting with a blank slate. Well, this is the biggest hospital construction project in the United States today. $1.271 billion across all 38 acres of the site. We have over 3,000 sheets of drawings just to describe the hospital building. There is a 60-foot cantilever and there's also a 120 foot hole. So we can have lighting go to the light wells at the neonatal intensive care units. Our institution will be the hospital, uh, not of last resort like it's been in the past, but the hospital of first choice. With so many challenges, the decision of finding the right team became vital. Eventually, a truly unique joint venture was established between four companies, Balfour Beatty, Austin Commercial, H.J. Russell, and Azteca came together to form Barra. We paid Barra to manage the construction. They're experts at building, all four companies. What they've given us is a building that will change with us as we need it to. For the first time, we have rapid transit uh, right there on site uh, with the brand new dart rail uh, line that, that uh, is at Parkland. The teamwork we have on this job is unique. This job has, has had a spirit again of treating all the team members with respect. We have about 1,200 guys out here on the job. I think we have, right now, we're sitting at about 40 different subcontractors. Uh, it's a joint venture with our architects, the different engineers. It's just everybody working together as one. With the right team in place, Barra prepared to undertake the largest healthcare project in the United States. Projects like this perceptively move the needle. And for us to be safer and to build more quality projects and to be on time and on budget is just an extraordinary thing to be part of. Five, ten years from now, we all will drive on 35 and see Parkland and know that we had a hand in it. We're doing something bigger than us and something we're going to be proud of for the rest of our lives. It's very exciting.